Got any advice for all the haters out there? Haters? <laughs> hmm. Haters? I don't have haters. You don't? No. What have you got? You only have haters if you give a fuck. And I don't. <laughs> you don't give a fuck? No. How'd you learn how to do that? How'd you learn how to do that? You still haven't washed your face? Are you crazy? You must be crazy. No heartbeat, mighty river. I'll be the animal. Call me a cat. So far, sounds tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What you want to talk about? <laughs> we don't talk about anything good. We're on a train right now, so. Am I original? No. <laughs> Am I the only one? Am I so okay. productive people today. A Mona Lisa. And then we look so crazy right now. <laughs> is that where they keep the Mona Lisa? Okay. That's not even funny. Why is that not funny? It's a museum. I think it's funny. It's not funny. Okay, wow. <laughs> what? Looks like you got boobs. <laughs> oh, it's like one big boob in the middle. Don't get me wrong, I love my kids, but like it's, it's, you don't need to say that. Like there's, it's just understood that I appreciate the audience and, but you can't stop how you feel, how things make you feel. Mm -hmm. And so. I understand. <clears throat> it makes me feel like what I've done is just irrelevant. Like I'd rather just give it and then walk away and let people figure out what they want to do with that, how it makes them feel. I, I don't want to know how it makes them feel because I'm going through my own, do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, now I have to be um, a listener in that way, and I, I, and I don't want to be. <laughs> mm. I don't want to listen to, to how it made you feel. I want to be able to kind of um, reset what I just put out there, because um, it's a lot, you know, and uh, a friend of mine was like, you know, performing is an action. And so is listening, and so is talking, and so after performing, it's just like, you know, there's always going to be that one motherfucker that was like, that says stuff like, well, that's what you signed up for. Well, no, that's not what I fucking signed up for. 
It's always the ones that have no idea that say things like that. But I, I really do. I just want to create, create art and not feel like I need to be another vessel after I'm done performing. People just so desperately want to connect. Sometimes people think that I'm younger than I am. And so with the way that they talk to me, sometimes I'm just like, okay. You know that like, you just keep going. You'll get there. It's just like, get where? Do you know who you're, like, do you know who you're talking to? Like I've, you know, I've been doing this for a very long, a very long time. And where I am is exactly where I am. I don't know, just people make assumptions about people. Do you know? They make assumptions. And we all have different journeys. And maybe it is that I'm just like, really, you know, the older I get, the less I want to be bombarded with people and their thoughts about what I do. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. I'm, I'm interested in people, but I'm interested in people in terms of them, not how they perceive me and how it makes them feel. Eight, ten. Eight, it's eight, ten. <clears throat> eight, oh, two. Give me the other way. I'm so sorry that we're late. Hey, don't worry about it. Hi. Hi. Hey, it's nice good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. 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 It's early. I know it's so early. There's traffic. Um, Where should we sit? You can sit wherever. You can put your stuff in here or over there. That's whatever. fine. We'll put it here. I'll, um, I guess I'll just go on on this side. So do you pronounce your name Michelle? It's just Michelle. Michelle, mm -hmm. it's Michelle. Yeah. It's just so beautiful spelling. <laughs> Thank you. It's like Michelle. <laughs> I'm just getting into it. Michelle. Yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's just a transition. It was a transitional place to stay. Mm -hmm. So it was just time to... Find like a permanent. Like a, yeah, yeah, something more. Mm -hmm. But it's been really wild. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I don't feel the need to like say hi to everyone or say bye to everyone. Like I just, I just, just here to do what I do and then I'm gonna go. Like I, I don't, when I was younger, I did feel the need, you know, well, you do. Because our desires know. and our needs change. And if there ever comes a time where you can choose to do a meet and greet or choose to do. I would always say no. <laughs> always? I hate those things. <laughs> I mean, I would do it. I don't mind, I guess. I mean, like, it doesn't... You're a friendly person. You like to, you know... It doesn't bother... I just say thank you, and then I just... I mean, I'm friendly. I, I find, you know, I'm a friendly person, and I... Most people probably wouldn't assume that, but mm -hmm. look of me, but I'm a nice person. I'm a... I, you know, I just... I'm particular. That's all. In particular to who I give my energy to especially after I'm performing because essentially I'm perform I'm giving my energy to a bunch of people that I don't know and that should be enough <laughs> what happened at the MoMA that white woman was throwing up <laughs> <laughs> she had her nice shoes on the first date. So I'm like, yes, I, I'll have my six mimosa. I'll be okay. She's just throwing up her green barley soup. <laughs> it was so gross. All in the corner on the nice, pristine floors of the MoMA. How are you going to puke at the MoMA? She found a way. She found a way. She couldn't even get, it was probably that, that escalator ride that did it. <laughs> She got an escalator. She was like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh shoot. Uh, I, was looking like, I, I don't know. I don't know. 
I'll tell you what, when women are sick... I mean, he was not even on the ground with her. He was standing useless. over her. Men are useless. Can you, can, I, can you say that again? Men are useless. Now look at the camera and say it. Men are useless. Damn, when shots women, fired. When women are... They don't know what to do. They're just like, ah. Uh, throw hot water on it. It's just like, all right, y'all. Shame. She was, she was like, please help me, please. <laughs> she had her fingers all widespread on the floor like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I need the sound effect. <laughs> so we just finished our show and um, I feel so alive when I do perform and sometimes, you know, um, I just look forward to the day where I can do it more often. There was a time where I was doing it a lot, um, but it was by myself and I don't know. I really enjoy performing and singing with, with Richard and there's just, I feel more at peace when I'm doing it with somebody, um, somebody, somebody that I respect and admire and care about. I. It's important to feel alive as mu much as we can in our lives because this, you know, there's so much um, uncertainty and all that stuff that comes with just living and experiencing life. And I should be looking here, I think. And so I feel alive when I'm performing, and when it's over, it's kind of like look forward to the next time I get to do it. And sometimes I don't know when that's gonna be. It's just nice to feel liquefied in that way. Anyway, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's been so long since I've talked to the camera. And it's hard not to, you know, you have like this screen above you and it's, it's hard not to look at yourself. Um, Especially when you're as fun as I am. <laughs> no, it's hard to, you know, I guess because you have like a set of eyes looking back at you. So you want to look back at the set of eyes. Um, the lens is so dark. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to let you know what it feels like after performing with We Are Baker. And just the energy and the vibe and stuff like that feels really, really good. It's something that I uh, I look I look forward to having all the time. And um, I mean, we've both been doing this a very long time separately. Richard has been at it since he was 16, and I started when I was 21 in the music industry and in the music business. And I'm 35 now, so. <laughs> It's uh, any successes that we've had uh, individually have been wonderful. Um, and we still make music for ourselves, but you know, working with a partner is just so much more exhilarating and so much more fun and we understand each other and it, you know, it, it, it makes for a better time and a less strenuous time, especially when you're on, on the road. So I just hope that we get to do more of that. Um, I'm <laughs> babbling, but uh, thank you guys so much for, for your support and for being so patient and consistent, um, as are we, so, <laughs> alright, peace.